you as well. Yes. And when they use our likenesses uh, to sell a product, and then uh, and, and then don't even deliver the product, or the, the product doesn't deliver what they say. It's just it's infuriating. Please check everybody, but make sure that these things are legitimate. So well, well Marianne really is a good example for Hi, us. Hi, Marianne. Marianne. Kathy, nice, nice to you. meet you. It's a pleasure. So when did you start to notice that you were um, losing your hair? Uh, probably about 10 years ago. Okay. So and your first reaction was? Uh, shock. Because yeah. I had really long, thick hair. Yeah. Well, the but hair you still have is quite beautiful. A little bit. Thank you. Thank so, you. So what has been the, what have you tried? Have you tried everything? I've tried many. Vitamins, uh, oils, coconut oil. Uh, you name vitamins, it. Vitamins, you name it. Yeah. Everything. And everything that says hair growth and nothing has worked. Nothing has worked. Nothing. Absolutely what are we going to do for her, Doctor? Have, have, have you ever spoken to a physician about the hair? Yes. No one has any answers. I've been to quite a few. So I'm going to throw some ideas out today. Okay. Uh, first, I want to talk about the ideas that I don't want you trying because mm -hmm. they're the easy ones to catch you on because they promise you everything. And nothing is going to offer you everything. Mm -hmm. But their ideas, when cobbled together, can make the pieces of the, of the pie come together. Okay? okay. Yes. All right, so take yes. this. Thank All right, so come on over. We're going to talk to Dr. Wolf. She's Wall. squeezing my head. I know. Don't I be am scared, so sweetie. Don't be scared. <laughs> so we've got top hair restoration surgeon, Dr. Michael Wolfeld here. He's going to teach us how to spot the scams and identify the ones that actually are problematic, and then some ideas that might work for us. So let's start with hair loss products to avoid. And first, we, anything that says it's going to unblock your file, because have you ever heard that, Marianne? We're going to unblock you? No. Right. That's no, a big I one right haven't. now. Yeah, no. And to Kathleen's point, they, they, they have pictures of people, say, hey, this is yes. the best. There'll probably be one today of me promoting these products, even though I have nothing to do with any of these things. And these, I don't think really work. How did this idea get a start? So there are products that are out on the market that do claim that they unblock your follicles, that people have buildup of sebum, and they may clear up the sebum to allow your hair to grow out. That you really have to be much more careful. Regarding. So we've got this little high-tech demo here. Yes. So a normal hair, just bring one out here if you don't mind. Mm. So well done. <laughs> you get the hair coming out there, it's beautiful, it's elegant. And then you see how there's sebum here blocking these ones? Yes. So in theory, oh, Ew. but you're not pushing that hard, are you? No. The, mm -hmm. rem the remarkable thing is growing hairs coming out of follicles are essentially unstoppable. So these things I don't think are worth the money that we spend on them. Mm -hmm. And they often charge you a fair amount. Yes, exactly. a lot. So the real cause of hair loss? So the most common cause of hair loss is genetics, or what we refer to as androgenetic alopecia. So your hair follicles may be pre-programmed over your lifetime to die at some point. So um, what I tell patients is to look at their parents, look at their mother and their father, and that'll give a good sense of where they are and what their hair loss pattern may be. All right, so come on over. Mm -hmm. one, other, okay. one last idea here. This is, a, this is not really a scam, Thank you. but it's a proceed with caution. Oh boy. It's called red light therapy. So come have a seat, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. I'm, let me help you with this. Oh, yes. This is a cool little I thing. Absolutely. I was actually introduced to, uh, by, uh, to this concept to me by a friend. Let's just see. I'm curious if it really works or not. Yeah. You feel anything growing in there? I see it all the time. Um, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, but it is darn attractive, it isn't is it? It's pretty. It's mm -hmm. very yeah. pretty. Yeah. So, how does this thing work? And was I given the right advice to try it? Yeah, so it may work. For some patients, it does work. So it's low-level light therapy. And what happens is that there's light diodes and your hair follicles may absorb some of that light and it increases the metabolism of the cells in your hair follicle and may allow your hair growth cycle to increase and allow your hair to grow longer and a little bit thicker as well. So this, the, 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 it's, it's on the cusp. We're not sure about this yeah, one, right? Yeah, so it's not one of the FDA approved treatments. It's FDA cleared for safety, but it's not necessarily approved for, for efficacy. For efficacy. So, yes. Effic but, yes, doctor. Efficacy, <laughs> sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but some patients have some And how long do you have to it? sit under this thing? So usually it's uh, about six minutes a day, every day, and you can use it at home. Yeah. Oh. 